Okay, focus on your breath. Breathe deep down into the body. You want to use the breath as an anchor for the mind. Otherwise it gets blown around by all the winds and all the currents of the day. And you don't have a safe place to be yourself. And you get blown all out of shape, twisted all out of shape, to the point where you forget what's up and down, what's right and wrong, what's left and right. So take a few minutes to get your bearings. You're sitting right here. You're facing ahead, sitting up straight. Your mind is straight. In other words, it's right in line with the breath. You try to keep it that way. This way you have a gyroscope inside. Just like a ship needs a gyroscope, and the waves tip to one way, the gyroscope keeps the ship on, a key, on an even keel. They tip the other way, it stays on an even keel, because the gyroscope is spinning around right in this one spot inside. And you want your attention to be spinning around the breath right here, looking at the breath, caring for the breath, tending to it. Any place where the breath seems out of whack or out of balance, you try to bring it back into balance. So the mind has its central point, its balance point. From which it can judge everything else as to what's right and what's wrong. When the mind is moving away from the breath, you get a better sense of how it moves. Because the currents of the mind are not just like water currents. They're currents of greed, they're currents of aversion, currents of delusion. And you get the impact of other people's greed, aversion, and delusion from outside. So you get blown around all the time. So the gyroscope there is on the one hand to withstand the impact from the outside and also to learn how to sort out the impact from inside as well. So you can recognize the thought of greed when it starts. You have to wait until it's a full-blown case of greed that's taken over before you recognize it. The same with anger, same with lust, same with fear. You want to be able to see these things clearly right as they start. And so you need a good reference point. You need your inner gyroscope here. And that's what keeps your thoughts, words, and deeds on an even keel. It keeps your life on an even keel. So try to maintain this point of balance, this point of the, straight, the straightened out mind right here inside. Keep it going all the time, because you're going to need it all the time, not just when you meditate. Try to gain a sense of the breath that you can maintain in your other activities. You may not have to know all the details of the breath while you're working on something else, but at least, at least have a sense of how the breath energy is in your center. Make that center your constant point of reference. It helps to sort out all the other currents and breezes and hurricane winds that are blowing around in the world. 